Hey everyone, it's Ariel and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited because I finally got to try for the first time the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer Brush. I know this is like kind of old news, like this has literally been out for like two years and I'm just getting on the train now. But you guys, this thing is so popular. It has over 40,000 five star reviews on Amazon. And I mean, I know you guys have seen this all over social media. It's been everywhere for, again, like literally years. I finally got my hands on one and I'm so excited to show you guys my first impressions and just me using it for the first time ever. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to like, comment down below and subscribe if you're not already and let's get right into it. Okay, my hair was in that t-shirt for like 45 minutes, so it's pretty dry at this point. But yeah, this is what we are starting with. The first thing I'm gonna use is a leave-in conditioner, and this is actually a new one that I just got by Mark Anthony. It is the Grow Long Super Fast Strength Leave-In Conditioner. This is actually like a top-rated leave-in conditioner on Amazon. It's supposed to be really good for frizz, breakage, dry hair, and also hair growth. So I was like, you know what? I've been using my like go-to Aunt Jackie's for a while now and I love it. Like I'm probably gonna restock on it. I just ran out. But yeah, I was like, why don't we just try something new and see, see what the hair thinks. <laughs> and I will link this in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. Okay, so leave-in conditioners in and now I'm also going to use a heat protectant. This is the one I always use by Tresemme. Heat tamer spray, just spray that all over. Now I'm just gonna detangle my hair just using my usual paddle brush. Starting at the ends, working my way up. All right, hair is detangled and completely frizzed up. Um, that's what happens when you brush through natural curls, but I honestly don't know. I'm wondering if my hair's too dry right now. I feel like I kind of might need a bit more water. One second, you guys. Okay, so I actually just spritz my hair with a little bit of water because I'm thinking if I'm gonna blow dry my hair, it's probably gonna benefit from being like a little bit damp. So now, dun da da da, moment of truth. I get to open this baby up. I've actually had this thing for weeks. <laughs> Literally had it for weeks. Um, but I was waiting and waiting. How do you get into this thing? I've been waiting and waiting for the perfect time for me to use it and try it so that I can film it for you guys and kind of do like a little first impressions video. I don't know why this is so hard to get into right now. Wow. Okay, we did it. Here it is, you guys. I'm so excited and also nervous to try this because I don't know, I feel like I haven't seen a lot of like people with natural hair using this. I've seen a couple, but I haven't seen a lot. And so I don't know exactly what to expect. Let me turn the heat off because that's super annoying. Okay, you guys, so I have this plugged in and ready to use. I think what I should probably do is first section my hair. So I'm gonna take a crop clip and I think I'm actually going to work in a half at a time. So on one side first. Okay, you guys, so moment of truth. Hope you can see. I'm nervous. Okay, so right here you can see the on and off switch. It's this little like toggle thing here. And they have obviously the off position and then cool, low, and high for temperature. I think I'll start with low and see how that goes. Here we go, let's turn it on. So obviously it's too loud for me to like talk over, but basically what I did on this first section is just kind of use it as a round brush. So like put it in at the root and then just kept kind of turning it and pulling it through my hair and giving it a little like swirl swoop thing at the end. Same thing that I would do if I was using a normal round brush. And I'm just surprised like how quickly it smoothed out my hair. And my hair feels good. Like it feels healthier than it would even just like with a blow dryer, like not even taking flat ironing into consideration, but it feels like soft. And also it feels like it has a lot more body and like volume. The woman was too stunned to speak. I'm sorry, what? Do you guys see this? This is kind of blowing my mind right now. I feel like I didn't really have like expectations. Like I was like, we'll just see how this goes. But I'm like, um, this would take me 
so much more time and effort with a regular blow dryer and a round brush to get this same look. Like, I'm kind of shocked right now, you guys. This is insane. And I'm trying to, like, time myself. So for this piece, it's been four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, so far I am, like, blown away with this. I think what I'm going to do now is use it on the cool setting just to, like, lock in the style a little bit. So I'm going to do that now. It's going to be way louder this time. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am like kind of obsessed with this. <laughs> I mean, look at how shiny and like healthy it looks, first of all. This is turning out way better than I thought it was. We're only on section one, so let me like chill out a little bit. So far, you guys, I'm seriously like shocked at how well this like smoothed out my hair. I mean, what the heck? Okay, let's just move on. But I mean, this is my honest like first impression you guys so now i'm just gonna pull down another section clip this away and i was kind of finding it to work well to like switch directions a few times just so that i don't get like too much of a under bevel i kind of like keep volume throughout the whole strand this way if that makes sense so i'm gonna do that again this time and i think i'm just gonna stick with the low setting because i feel like it was working good and it was like honestly pretty warm so i'm just gonna continue with what i was doing which was using it on the low setting so again, just continuing what I did on the first section, which is keep switching directions. So switching between going under and over the hair. And again, just getting a lot of volume and just surprised how quickly it dries my hair. And a more critical point so far, I would say, is that I kind of wish it had another heat setting. Like, I feel like the low heat setting is actually a bit warm, so I feel like I'm going to probably like never use it on the high setting because it just feels like way too strong and too hot for my hair. I just find that like the low setting is way more than hot enough. I've been using the the low setting for the whole thing and then just a little shot of cold at the end to kind of lock it in but I feel like like especially on this last one it was getting like really hot towards the end so I feel like I just don't need that much heat. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I like the um, tip that it has. So far it it's not getting hot at all, but it's really easy to grab onto and it makes styling your hair with this a lot easier. Okay, you guys, I just remember that this part of my hair is like a super stubborn part. I have like a more coarse curly texture there for some reason. That's just how my hair grows. Um, so I can tell that it didn't work quite as good on this section. I mean, I feel like you guys can see like there's a little bit more frizz. It's not quite as smooth and like curled and like voluminous which is normal like even if i'm just using a regular blow dryer and a round brush um the same thing will happen like this part of my hair just doesn't <laughs> it just doesn't dry or style as nicely but i did also want to mention that i really like the shape like i love the fact that they made it this like oblong not oblong <laughs> oval shape because i feel like this helps so much for someone like me who has like really curly, coarse textured hair. It really helps to get that like stretched out, pulled out look. And I feel like it's definitely easier with this shape than it would be if this was just a regular like round shape, like a normal round brush. So I like that as well. I'm gonna take down another section and continue drying. Just giving my hair a quick detangle before I go in with the blow dry brush. I'm actually gonna get rid of like this little bang section because I kind of want to blow dry the bangs together and like back at the end but obviously I'm not doing this side yet so I'm just gonna leave that part out for now and just kind of work around it. I'm also finding it helpful to detangle the sections a bit better before I actually go in with the brush. Alright you guys, these are the results so far. I still have a few sections left. Actually, let me just finish this last section. So yeah guys, these are the results from one side. Um, so far I'm really liking it. 
I'm noticing like there are some parts where like it didn't completely smooth out my hair but considering my hair is naturally curly like I feel like that's still pretty impressive and I mean look at this volume like this is crazy even with a blow dryer and a round brush it would be really hard to get this amount of volume it actually might be like too much volume like I kind of want to flatten this out a little bit let me see if I can do that with this actually Okay, it sort of worked. It's definitely flatter. Cool. But yeah, I mean, clearly a ton of volume, a nice amount of curl and like just body going on here. I'm really happy with it so far. And yeah, I'm really excited to do the bangs because I feel like that's gonna be really nice. Um, let's take this down and see the comparison. <laughs> I feel like this would be a good thumbnail as well. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> Just with a blow dryer brush, this is crazy. Look at the shine, like my hair feels super soft and healthy too. A bonus. Okay, I'm gonna take a thumbnail shot and then I'll keep going. <laughs> okay, so now obviously I have to do the other side. So I'm basically just gonna repeat everything I just did on that side on this side. This is actually the side with less hair, like this side isn't as thick. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> shouldn't take as long and that didn't even take that long oh yeah I was timing myself so I started this at 12 19 and now it's 12 54 so okay how long did that take um 19 29 39 49 so we're around like 35 minutes right now which is not bad it's really not bad considering that I'm kind of combining the flat iron and the blow dryer together like it's kind of giving me the look of both even though I could still go in and like touch some spots up and like really get it like straighter but that's kind of not like the idea like it's not supposed to get your hair super straight it's supposed to smooth it out and give it volume and body and that's definitely what it's doing and like it's a finished style with just one product so I don't know let's see I'll keep tying myself and we'll see how long it takes in total but for now I'm just gonna keep going again using it on the low setting Actually, I had trouble getting this one to curl but I don't think that's the brushes fault I think it's just my hair but yeah guys this is how I'm looking so far I'm just gonna keep on going I might like cut some of this out so that it's not super long um, but we're almost there I'm so excited to see the end result and I'm so excited to do the bangs like I really am but let's keep going All right, you guys, my arms are starting to get pretty sore and I do have another concern that I want to address. I feel like I have to put a considerable amount of force into like pulling and dragging the brush through my hair, which is fine, but I'm kind of worried about how long the bristles on here are gonna last because I feel like I'm pulling really hard. So like I'm a little bit worried that these are gonna like be all bent and beat up in a very short amount of time which I mean you can't expect something like this to last forever but I'm kind of just like a little bit concerned about that the good thing is it does have the like boar or boar inspired bristles they kind of take over the heavy lifting and do a lot of the hard work but I'm still a little bit worried about that just wanted to mention that. So besides that, um, I'm done with all of my hair. The only thing I've left is the bangs and I'm so excited. This is probably like the most exciting thing about this whole, <laughs> this whole brush situation is being able to do my bangs and they are quite dry at this point. I think I might spritz them a bit with water just so that again, I'm not like just brushing and drying already dry hair because it's just not a good idea so my plan is to kind of do the same thing but I ultimately want to blow dry them back so I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can actually 
see. Okay, this looks kind of funny for right now, but it'll help you guys be able to see what I'm doing. So again, she's using it on low heat. What a look, hey? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let these kind of like set and settle. I'm gonna fix the camera because this is not the angle we want for the rest of the video. Okay, so I'm slowly gonna push these down and give them a little shake too. I might have to do some more like touching up, I'm not sure. Okay, see, this is, this is what I was looking forward to. Look at this swoop, you guys. This swoop, yes. Okay, I'm happy. I feel like I'm really gonna have some fun with the bangs. I just recently cut my bangs too, so I feel like they're like just in the perfect, you know, they're just like sitting perfect. I kind of feel like a politician right now. It's giving politician a little bit. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of jojoba oil to seal my ends and just give my hair a little bit of shine. Just lock in the style. And you guys, leave a comment down below. Is this giving politician? Like, is this, is this not the vibe or is it the vibe? Like, let me know. Maybe it's giving politician, but in a good way. You know what I mean? Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I'll make sure to show you guys the back as well. But I also want to give you, like, my final, final thoughts and feelings about this Revlon One Step Blow Dryer Brush. So... Good news and bad news. Good news first. I love the shape, as I mentioned earlier. I love that it is oval shaped and not just round. I feel like that allows people like me who have more textured hair to like really stretch and smooth out the hair. And I feel like if you don't have like textured curly hair, but you want to get a lot of volume, it's also good for that because there's a lot of height here. So you can use this to get a lot of volume in your hair. I feel like this just puts a lot of the work in for you. You don't have to work as hard. Um, so I like that. I like the tip, like the holding tip or whatever you want to call it. Um, I like that it doesn't get hot at all. Like even right now, it's like there's like a hint of warmth, but it is totally fine to touch and totally comfortable. I like that because I feel like if it was any smaller or if it just wasn't as prevalent, it would be a lot harder to use this thing. Like it does help a lot to be able to like work with both hands and like kind of twist it around and it's just I feel like it's a very smart design with that. Overall I like the idea. I love the idea of like a blow dryer and a round brush in one essentially. It saves a little bit of time. I feel like I mean we're at 119 so it's, it's been almost an hour so it almost took me an hour to do my whole head which is not bad. It does have like its own unique look I feel like like it I don't know it's like it has so much volume and body I feel like that's part of it and like it kind of just happens because of the shape of the brush and I feel like that's really hard to do with a round brush and a blow dryer so I like that I like the design I like overall I like the product but the bad news here are the things I don't like I'm not crazy about this like on and off and like temperature switch like I feel like it's not the greatest design and like might not last very long um, again like it's not an expensive thing so you can't expect it to last forever but still a factor um and then i am a little bit worried about the bristles and like just how hard i have to pull on it to like really smooth out my hair i'm just worried it's not gonna last super long and then also i wish it had a less warm low heat option i just feel like the low heat is like more than hot enough i could probably do it less but then i feel like the cool is just not quite hot enough so i don't know but overall i really like this thing i'm definitely gonna use it again and i feel like I mean, this is my first time using it, so I feel like once I play around with it and, like, experiment with just styling my hair with it, I'll be able to, like, really figure out how to use it. But I'm happy with it. It has a cool look. I have a lot of volume and body, which I can't normally get on my own, unless I want to put, like, hours of work in, but I don't. So, yeah, I like it. And again, I know I am, like, very late to <laughs> the whole Revlon One Step Club. I know, like, they literally already have an another, like, generation of this brush, like, a next version. So this is like pretty old news at this point, but I still wanted to try it better late than never. I'm happy I did. And let me know what you guys think. Obviously it has like a ton of five-star reviews 
on Amazon and like you hear people all the time talking about how much they love this thing. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you have one? Do you love it? How do you use it? Let us know your favorite like tips and tricks and spill the tea in the comments because I'm new to this. I need I need to know how what, how you guys feel about it. Uh, so I'd love to hear your comments on that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you find it helpful in some way or just enjoyed watching me experiment with this for the first time. If you did, please make sure to like, comment down below, and subscribe if you're not already. Turn your post notifications on if you want to stay notified of anything I'm posting on here. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. I'll, I always leave it linked in the description box. And I will also leave all of the products I used today linked in the description as well. So check all that out if you're interested in anything. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.